So we have Xavier in Miami uh, and Zapantheist. How do you do? Hey, how are you doing? Good evening. It's all right. What can I do for you? And before we get started, Xavier, can you Hi. can you figure out your microphone there? It sounds like I can hear your background almost as much as I can hear you. So if you can get closer to the phone, make sure you're not on speaker or anything like that. Let's clear up uh, your audio situation over there. Okay. How do I sound now? Uh, at least louder than the How background. If you can get away from whatever that music or something is in the background, that'd be most ideal. Yeah, but... I got away from it. Okay, great. Okay. All right, so what is your, what is your question, now. quandary, situation, whatever? All right, so it says uh, religious people report greater sexual satisfaction. Um, so according to a, considering the results of the study published in the Journal of the Sect Research, they concluded that about 10,000 heterosexual adults between age 18 to 60 in the UK collected through the National Survey of Sexual Attitudes and Lifestyles, determined that they reported a higher sexual status, religious people reported greater satisfaction in their sex life than, you know, secular people. Um, this has to do with, you know, they're meaning from sex. Sort of like, okay, sex is God's divine plan. Well, I don't know, how to, don't know how to comment on that. I mean, I, I, I was religious once upon a time myself. Hey, Xavier, I think what we're going to do is just take the call at the topic and go ahead and drop your call because there's just, you got a kid in the background, there's music. I think I heard a car alarm at one point. So we're just <laughs> going to, uh, we're just going to take the topic, but drop the call. So just watch on YouTube for the, uh, for the answer there. All right. Okay. Sounds All right, good. so Jimmy, can you select these calls or just me? Yeah, I, I take care of it. Okay. Can you you want to select the next one? Yeah. Well, do you want to? Uh, is is there anything you want to address on that one? One of the things I thought was funny that he brought up that Xavier brought up was that it was amongst heterosexual couples. That heterosexual couples in religion report, and so we're also talking about a self-reporting thing. We're not talking about an objective measurement. We're not talking about the intensity of orgasms. Uh, uh, look, I'm, I, I've had plenty of heterosexual sex despite not being heterosexual. And I assure you after religion, it's much more interesting. Uh, however, it, I, I, I do think it's funny that there's that big lost topic of amongst heterosexuals, when you ask a couple if their sex is better than the heathens, they're sure it is. I don't know. It's not that interesting to me. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm also thinking about a number of people who were like uh, prominent people in the uh, anti-gay movements, the religiously based anti-gay movements here, where you know, one of these religious leaders, you know, family organizations with the word family in the name, which really means that they just hate gays. And the leaders of one of these groups was caught having sex with a man in his van out front of the church. So that was yeah. discreet. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and another one. Uh, probably the more famous example was the, just the leader of some, you know, anti-gay church who was caught going into a hotel room with a rent-a-boy, someone he hired to carry his bags and give him massages. And that Brazilian rent-a-boy's advertising, uh, his qualifications, his list of qualifications started with that he had an eight-inch cut, uncut penis. That's, that's quite really the important. thing to put on your really? LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, there was Ted Haggard, the most famous example, who was talking about the very thing that this caller was talking about, you know, how they have they had better sex than anybody else. And, he, you know, the people of his congregation had better sex than anybody else. And he says this with a huge, sickly smile. And then he's caught doing crack off of a male hooker's ass while cheating on his wife. So I, I tend to doubt these statistics very much. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there's the so way, many said, elements of it, too. You said that you've had plenty of heterosexual sex besides being not being heterosexual. And it just reminds me of the comment that, hey, I'm not gay, but, you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> uh, my sexuality does not exclude heterosexual <laughs> sex at all. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan, in fact. I, uh, 
uh, uh, big fan practicer. I'd like to, I'd like to think that I've uh, put in the time No, but yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a ton of elements to it. Like for example, how do, if you're going to say specifically amongst religious people and we're talking about Christian people mostly, uh, but even if you want to expand to other of the main religions in the UK, you're still talking about a lot of people that are preaching monogamy. So you give them on average one and a half sexual partners their entire life. Let's say, you know, averaging here. Uh, uh, yeah, I bet they all think that they're really good at it. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. And, and, and of these, of these, uh, d- these devoutly religious people, how many of them prefer uh, sex with their mit- mistress rather than their wife? That's why it's, yeah, that's why it's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. Hello, I'm Jimmy Snow, executive producer of The Line, and I only became a woodworker for the puns. That's not important. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so on our Patreon or as a channel member, and you can actually support specific shows and specific hosts in special tiers on those. Check those options out. Also, you can leave a super thanks and get a little highlighted deal, but if all else fails, you can always like, you can subscribe, and leave a comment. Now, here are some suggestions because I don't care about the algorithm. I am the algorithm. Bye.